In this segment, I'm going to continue using graphics mode to create embroidery for digitizer software. But specifically what I'd like to do this time is start working with the Corel clip art that was um, installed with the digitizer software. And so to be able to import Corel clip art onto our screen, I need to use the import tool that's found here on the left hand side of my toolbar. So I'll click on that and this window opens and it gives us the ability to browse the locations of your computer and it tells me that I'm looking in the folder called weather and if I just choose this little up arrow I can see that I have the main folder called clipart and this is the folder that I found that was installed with the digitizer software now the clipart if I go to I guess double click on weather and then if I just click on a graphic it shows me what it looks like and now down at the bottom it tells me here that I'm looking at files of type and it says all file formats but perhaps I'll just take a minute and show you if I pop up that list it'll show me all of the different file formats that we could open using the Corel graphics suite so we have some very powerful um, graphic types like Adobe Illustrator or Corel draw CDAR files and I'll just scroll through the list so that you can see there's a very large um, number of different graphics files that can be opened using the Corel graphics suite. So that's it and so basically you just come along you select the graphic that you want to import and you choose the import button and it gives us this little triangle or a little angle kind of like a set square and wherever I click that's where I will set the graphic in my desktop. Now it looks kind of small so I'm just going to increase the size a little bit and perhaps I'll just pop over to the embroidery mode and kind of confirm how it looks and yeah I've got a size that seems reasonable for my embroidery hoop and so now what I'm going to do popping back over to graphics mode I'll show you that if I click on the graphic it selects the entire graphic and that's because it's actually a group so for example if I look here in the object manager on the right hand side you can see that this is a group of 200 objects and because it's grouped together I can easily just click on it and select it so simply I just click on the entire graphic and all of the objects become selected and if I wanted to convert this into embroidery, it would be a simple matter of coming up to convert selected objects to embroidery, choosing that button, and it goes through and processes all of those vectors into embroidery objects, and it pops back over to embroidery mode, and it shows us that it's created embroidery design, and there's all of the objects that were converted from that vector into embroidery. Now, just because we used vectors to create this doesn't mean we couldn't still make modifications just like any object these are embroidery objects that you can select and modifies their size or the type of stitch or their color so for example if you decided you wanted your design to have a pink sky instead of a blue sky you could just click on the color pink select the objects in the background that make up the sky and color them to pink so it's pretty much as easy as that and so why don't we pop back over actually I'm gonna start a new design and then I'm gonna pop back over to graphics mode and we'll import the graphic again and this time I'm just gonna show the difference what happens if I ungroup the vector so there's my vector and I'll just resize it a little bit again now like I showed it it was a group of 200 objects but if I right click over top of this vector I have the option to ungroup and now instead of having one vector I have an, um, a whole selection of all 200 vectors I could select any one vector and easily just convert that one vector to embroidery so for example if you wanted the sky to come first and you clicked on that sky area then you could come up here and click on this button and it would convert just that sky object into embroidery and pop back over to the vector mode and that sky is kind of covering up the background so I could just use this button to not show the embroidery select another area like this convert that into embroidery so you can see how you can build your designs up and basically um, create your own embroidery designs yourself based on the vectors that came from the 
the Corel clip art. So in, if you wanted to do, if you're saying, no, I just want to convert it all at one time, you can, even though I've ungrouped it, I can still drag a box to select all of the objects, click on this button to convert the selected objects to embroidery, and it'll go ahead and generate all of those objects into embroidery for us. Now I'm going to go ahead and start a new design and I want to take a look at some of the other tools that we've looked at and how they can interact with this Corel clip art. So for example, if I select on um, the import box, and is it coming up? There it is. And then import that image again and just resize it a little bit. Now for example, if I choose to use the crop tool, and then I drag a box to select, you know, just part of this image. So maybe we decided that we really only wanted to have just this part of our graphic and we didn't want the rest of it. So I use the crop tool and basically it crops all of the parts out of the vector that are not in my selection. And so now I could choose this and convert it to embroidery or for that matter, maybe I'd like to add to it. Why don't I choose a vector rectangle and then draw a rectangle around the shape of this crop selection and then I'll just make the outline of my little vector rectangle fatter and so now I've got um, well I've got a cluster of I guess now it's 182 a group of 182 objects plus my rectangle probably the easiest thing to do is just click and drag a box to select it all and then choose to convert that to embroidery and it pops over in embroidery mode and it shows me that it's created my graphic and so you can see that I was easily able to crop out all of the other parts of the graphic I didn't want and put a border on it and convert that into embroidery. So that really shows you the power of adding graphics and the graphics mode to the digitizer software. It opens up all of the vectorized formats and for converting to embroidery and it gives you the ability to work with um, the graphic tools to create your own vectors and then convert those into embroidery. So that's my segment about using the graphics mode and creating these into embroidery. And so obviously there's more to this graphics mode, um, but it would be very difficult for me to show each and every nuance of each and every tool. So I think for, for those of you that um, are really interested in the graphics mode, you'll find that if you look under the help that you can bring up your um, graphics help and show your contents and your um, your help topics and learn even more about how to use the Corel Graphics Suite and all of its tools and features. But I did, I think I showed all of the real core functionality and certainly um, gave you lots of options and a good starting point on how to use the Corel Graphics Suite with your embroidery design software.